cash in their credit cards. Just take what you want. Oh, we're, we're gonna. Guys, someone might see. Well, then go watch the street. Two six two six. Looking for some action downtown. Sorry, yo. Nothing doing tonight. So sure about that. Ain't gonna be a good little girl. And you're not gonna wind up dead. Stop talking to the dumb bitch. Cab. Looks like she could use a lift. And who are you, her knight in yellow armor? Thinking you better keep moving. You first. They generally stay calm. My purse, my keys, my oh, license. It's right here. It's over here. It's right there, okay? Thank you. I got it. You just stay there. Why did I stay late at the office? Why did I walk home? None of this is your fault. It was so close, stupid. Listen to me. Those guys are to blame. Not you. Let's get you a look. I'm fine. I just want to go home. Well, you should do me one favor. Let a doctor decide. Don't say I never got you anything, old Shansky. A big fat Chestnut Hill fair. I'm not available. No, go ahead. You shouldn't be alone. Security guard's right there. Maybe I can uh, call a friend, relative, someone to pick you up. Hey, what happened to Mr. Desperate? I'll be fine. Let me give you my name and my number. Oshansky, come back. You know, if you decide to go to the cops, or just if you need to talk. Thanks for everything. I'll be fine, really. All right, going once, twice. Do I hear a final bit? Give me the address.
You taught these bastards that no means no. Well, there's no teacher guys like that. Once predator. At least you used excessive force. Come on. Let an officer live vicariously. Needed the skull. <laughs> Outstanding. You know how to raise a man's spirits. Speaking of which. No, 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 no. What? Don't ask me how I'm doing, Mike. No, don't ask. Okay. One more person, and he gives me that look, asks me how I'm doing. I think my head's gonna explode. Doctor says I'm fine. Really? Here you go. I'm just tired of everyone watching me, trying to figure out if I'm different or something. No. Thanks. Bullet to the chest, cancer scare, rough couple of months. Which is all now behind me. Yeah, I've taken a moment. Makes you look at things differently. It rolls off me like water off a duck's back. Always has, always will. You know, you keep saying that, you might convince one of us. Listen, Dr. Phil, you want to make me feel better? Petty check. Uh, 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 no, no, this no, is no, on you, him. I got to go see a man about a murder. This is on him. Don't let him talk you out of it. Don't let him talk you out of it. <laughs> The flu it came on last night. No, uh, no, really, I'll be fine. Um, can we move morning meetings until next week? No, no, thanks, really. I, I'll be fine in a few days. I'm just gonna go get some rest, okay? Of course, if you were to donate just $10 more, the shelter could... You can't blame a girl for trying. All of the women appreciate this. Thank you. <laughs> night shift or hot date? I'll never tell. Definitely the night shift. From the looks of you, it was a rough one. Just tell me, you know I'm gonna pry it out of you eventually. I came across three guys last night. They had a, uh, they had a woman trapped in an alley. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Well, I got there before they raped her. I worked some rapes when I was on the job. Looking at those women's eyes, it was, it was way worse than looking at a dead body. I was always relieved a special Vicks took over the case. How does someone come back from something like that? I'm talking about the attack is the first step. You want me to speak to her? Well, this is for future reference. If she calls, I'll send her your way. Right. Thanks for praying. Anytime. So you were at second in Indiana around noon yesterday. People say I was, then I guess I was. You see anything? Like what? Like a shooting, LaFonzo. Damn, man. He got Cap right in front of you. What you mean, Lil Brownie? Yeah, Lil Brownie. No, I ain't seen that. You saw the shooting, I know this. I also know the only reason to be at second in Indiana is to score. Now, you either come clean or I take the house tour. Two are all you want, nothing to see. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Man, it's just my boy coming home from school. Dad, what you do? Nothing. You go to the store? Yo, what's with the visit, Favo? Your father's a living witness to a drug killer. Told you I ain't seen nothing. Man, you heard me. How old are you? That got something to do with the shit. I ask the questions around here. How old are you? Twelve. Dude, the store. You went all the way home, right? <laughs> yeah, Dad. Chill. 
Oh, I go to the store. I'll bring home a bag. Give me the front door, don't flush him. If you can, I know it's not yours. Yo, Kyle, don't flush him twice, go. So, Fonto, I've seen a lot of ugly things in my time, but having your kids score for you, now that takes the prize. And I need that. Now, if that kid gets busted with drugs, it's off the juvie for him. If he doesn't get killed buying it for you. Now, if you want to toss your own life, fine. Don't drag that kid down with you. So you're quick. Saw a little Ivis in there. You play ball? Man, you done? Because I got to get him fast so I can do my homework. Sometimes he calms down after he eats. Saved me the other night. Oh, hey. I've been thinking about you. How are you doing? I think I know who did it. Really? How? Oh. I remembered some details. Well, then we'll go to the cops. We'll file a report. They won't believe me. That happens all the time. Oh, you got a witness. I'll back you up. Look, you know something. You got to help put those guys away. I used to be a cop. I know. I read about you on the internet, how you help people. You're amazing. Well, I see a problem. I try to fix it. That's what I'm asking you to do. I don't understand. You can keep another woman from getting hurt. I know from experience that those guys will try this again. Unless you stop them. Why don't you tell me where you are? I'll come. Better stop jerking me around. Oh, hey. What, did you come back for some more? I'm here to make sure you don't hurt anybody else. Oh, come on, now. You don't look that hurt. Oh, what do you like it rough, huh? <laughs> come on, take it easy, pretty girl. You don't... I want you to admit what you tried to do to me the other night. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Say it. And I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Come on. You don't even know how to use that thing. Tell me the names of your friends who were with you last night, and I won't shoot it off. Oh, God! No! John Bettis and Dan Kelly, but they're not going to talk. Ah! And when I tell the cops you shot me, they're not going to believe you. What? to a little better treatment than this. I am sorry. I was checking some details with Miss McQuaid. Sam McQuaid's wife? His widow. He was killed two days ago. Oh, yes. Colonel Britton told me about that. Is Colonel Britton here? He's off chasing those rebels. They jumped us. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry I woke you. I had to tell you, you were right about everything. 
So you ready to go to the cops? No, I meant about stopping those guys. I needed to do that, and I feel better. What do you mean? What'd you need to do? Fix my own problems, like you do. I realized I don't even know your name. Thanks. You're a real inspiration. So if a kid goes to school and doesn't starve to death, you don't care that his daddy's shooting up. Well, say the father gets busted on possession. You need to use a reverse directory. Look, if the kid stays in that house, he's going to wind up a junkie or dead. What, what are you doing? If the captain sees you there, he's going to have my ass. As soon as I get the address on his phone, I'm gone. What, there's something I ought to be able to handle? Yeah, fine. I, well, fine. I'll look. I'll, yes, I'll look into it. No, no, thank you. Why is it crabby? Probably a human services run around. Or maybe it's the big Polish guy messing with my computer. I gotta track down this woman that I helped the other night. She called me earlier from this phone. Is she in trouble, messed up, what? Last night, she was. This morning, cheerful. Said she fixed her own problems. Well, none of which explains why you're loitering around my desk. I think she did something to the guys who attacked her. Well, what gives you that idea? Juniper in Atlantic, pay for it. Minus the big hole in the skull. This is definitely the guy I tangled with. I hate it when you're right. Right now, me too. Hey, Washington. Yeah? You've got a name. Alec Tyson. That's the grieving widow. Vic was shot once in the head, once below the knee, has a couple priors for... Let me guess, sexual assault. One, one for indecent assault. A serial offender. These guys are so predictable. OK, talk to the grieving widow, see if you can come up with a list of, you know, guys her husband ran with. Okay, sounds good. She did this. And she's going to go after the other two. You don't have a name? You didn't drop her at home? Please tell me you got something on this guy. Oh. But the hospital does. No women matching her description were treated on Monday. She must not have checked in. I shouldn't have just dropped her off. I should have stayed. Then what? Move in with her? No way you could have prevented this. Well, pull the pictures. I have this sketch artist standing by. We'll be there in 10. The wife provided a list of six guys that her husband hung with regularly. Chances are the other two are in that posse. Well, we'll pick them up. Try to make a case for attempted rape. One quick stop. Silas, we got to... I'm working here. What, you back on that car? Yo, gentlemen, a moment of your time. Hey, what you think's going on here? Oh, you foe, you foe. Tugs, LaFonza, up against the wall. You know the game. You got it, you got it, baby go. boy. You the man. Wow. <laughs> what a collection of lowlifes. You guys playing in the parade? Man, you like a dog with a bone. OK, you three take walk. Good, you going lucky. See you around, Lafonso. All right. Oh, man. You wasting your time. I already fixed. So where's Kyle's mama these days? Dead, eight years now. Got relatives, got parents, aunts, sister in Jersey. So make your life easier. Send Cal to stay with her. She a hooker. Get up. You think this is funny? It's me. Oh, hey. We caught a break. Police are close to ID and the guys that attacked you. If you come in. Um, they found the body, didn't they? Let me come get you. We'll go to the cops. We'll explain it. Still go to jail. Well, our jury may understand why you did what you did. Do you understand? That's what matters. I understand how you feel. But you can't just walk around hurting people. You do. You ask me to be like you. I don't execute people. Please just come in. I'll go with you. And... Soon. I'm almost done. Wait, wait. Almost done.
John Bettis. Leave a message. Marcellus. Find out if there's a John Bettis on that list of Tyson's buddies. Because she just called from his phone. That's the place. Hello? Hello? Two down. Thanks to Olszewski's ID, we know the third would-be rapist and next likely target is Dan Kelly. Unfortunately, he seems to have gone into hiding. If she calls, how long are you going to be on location? Well, Bettis' cell phone is an older model, so we need two minutes to triangulate the signal. Okay. Clyde, um, find out what you can about Kelly. His, his family, his friends, hangouts. That's um... Sleazeball's record right there. We should just let her find him. Oh, so she can murder him, too? You know, that's exactly what you felt when you were on the job. You know what? You can't remember that far back? Is you that what it is? You don't know anything about me or how Yes, I do. Whoa, you whoa, need whoa, to step whoa, down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you got to get your story together. Brass are not too wild about you being here. Neither am I. Well, you keep this up and you won't be. Calls and no calls. OK, two minutes. OK. okay. Hello. Hey, Dad. Ryan, let me borrow his cell phone. Hey, Mikey. You see the game last night? Yeah, yeah, it was a great game. Yeah, they kicked butt. Yeah, it looks like my knives finally got it together. Are we gonna go see the Yeah, hey, weekend? Mikey? Yeah. Can I, uh, you mind if I call you back a little later? Okay. I'm just I'm kind of in the middle of something. Bye, Dad. Thanks. Hello? They're not telling the whole story. Tyson's family and friends Who is it? Utter disbelief. Asking why News? This could You're talking about his heartbroken friends and family. The man was a rapist scumbag. When you murder someone, you risk creating a martyr. They just interviewed his neighbor. She's afraid of the shooter. You blame her? She's been living next door to a monster. May have been. But that doesn't give you the right to kill him. Just finishing what you started. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whatever I did to those guys, my goal was to save you. You didn't seem to mind. We're the same, you and I. Soon everyone will know that. Uh, she's gone. She's really gone off the deep end. She keeps calling me. Says what it's saying. Why is she so fixated on me? It sounds like you threw a little gas on the fire. Oh, because I told her to go to the cops? That's what you said. And that's what I meant. Sure, but there is such a thing as leading by example. So, what? I shouldn't have beat those guys up? You told a traumatized woman to stop the men who assaulted her. Think how that sounds, coming from the guy who doles out his own version of justice. Oh, so this is my fault. She's nuts, but this is my fault. Clearly, she has serious problems, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't think about the message you're sending. Well, right now, all I'm thinking about is stopping a murder. Let me get back to it. Town with my dad. I make sure you don't carry dope. Well, you're a smart kid. Well, take it. I'm not gonna eat it. That's for you. It's not for your dad. Come on, sit down. Have a seat. Have some lunch. Leave your stuff there. You want some soda? Yeah. Okay, we got a cola, root beer, orange, cherry, lemon, lime. Cola. Your dad's lucky to have you looking out for him. 
How long you been doing that? About three years, I guess. That's how long he's been using? Pretty much. You ever tried rehab? Once after the OD. He stayed clean a month. Now I watch him so he doesn't overdose. You know, your father wouldn't have lasted long in my mother's house. She threw my father out for being a drunk. So it was just you and your mom? Mm-hmm. My mother worked a lot of hours, so I went moved in with my grandmother. She raised me. But you miss your dad. I was better off without him. That's your son? Yeah. His name is Ashton. Six years old. It's my wife, Deborah. She pretty. I'll tell you said so. So what are you doing down here? Man, please leave my dad alone. He's doing his best. Anyway, thanks for the sandwich. Yo, hey, what's up, little man? Oh, what, you don't know me now? Whatever, Tug. Oh, it's like that? Oh, all right. Attack occurred here. We know her home and her office are within half a mile. Mile, tops. And how do we know that? Because she was walking home from work. In heels. Sounded like she did that regularly. So she must live nearby. You're still casting a pretty big net, don't you think? Well, she was dressed conservatively, business-like, so focus on upscale areas. Okay. Law firms, insurance, financial. Where does a girl like that get a piece? Upscale or not, it's still Philly. Clive. Here's a printout from the database. Where's Washington? Thought he was out there. There you are. Here. Got an address on Kelly's mom. OK, let's go. Mike. Yeah? I want you there to talk to her. Right. Detective Washington, as a lead investigator on the Tyson Bettis murder, any comment on the letter? No comment. Was the note written by the actual killer? The men who were shot, were they rapists? No comment. The Avenging Angel says her goal was to protect other women. Do you think? The uh, who? The Avenging Angel. She was the woman who said she shot Tyson and Bettis. We call her the Avenging Angel. Catch it. Mr. Olshansky, Mr. Olshansky, in her letter, the angel says she's inspired by you, that she's following in your footsteps. Your response. No comment. No comment. When media calls with info on an open homicide, get off your fat ass and track me down. I get blindsided by the press one more time, and you're a dead man. Public affairs. Breathless. You going reflective on me? I did set her off, my son. Kind of tough not to think about that. Mike, this woman's hold on sanity is obviously a little tenuous. If you hadn't set her off, something else would have. You believe that? Well, I will if you will. Right. She's the one out of control here, not you. You guys ready? Okay, let's do it. Billy PD. This is Kelly, open up. We're looking for your son. Billy PD. What do you want? This is Kelly, we're looking for your son. No, it's all right, Ma. Thanks. Well, I was afraid that it was going to be that crazy chick. What, so you send your mother to answer the door? The angel's coming after me, not my mom. I saw this. He's a woman. What's he doing here? He just ID'd you for attempted rape. Turn oh, around. Oh, it was T's idea. I wasn't going to touch her. I was just going to watch. Yeah, when you're in jail, that's all the guards are going to do, oh, too. Oh, my God, Danny. OK, take him out the back. We're going to try to keep this thing quiet. I'll pull the car around. Why, are we getting word out to the hood? Now, every neighborhood blabbermouth knows that Kelly's hiding out of the mom's. Danny. Officer, please. Thank you, ma'am. If the angel comes looking, she'll end up here. Interesting lunch date today. See the kid you're talking to DHS about? What's it to you? I've just never seen this involved with something that's not a case. Come on, Mike. I'm not involved. So the buyers all lined up. Security guards in. You just got to boost the van. 
Such a sweet gig. You do it. I mean, with the buyer. Why I gotta hit the guard if he in on it? Man, if somebody swiped those laptops and he doesn't have a mark on them, cops will know he was in on it. I don't know. Your cut's 10 grand. Man can stay high for a long time on 10 grand. Why is she taking so long? Even the crazy lose track of time. You read that letter all you want. Still gonna say the same thing. I'm just looking for some insight. Some clue what's going on with her. Let me give you some insight. She's a whack job. And with Kelly in jail, she's got no one left to kill. Unless. Absolutely. I can't believe she actually shot him. Is he dead? Yeah, that's a doornail. <laughs> oh, God. You have no reason to kill him. You weren't there. She said no twice. What if he's about to stop? He should have stopped the first time she said no. Well, you're right. But being a scumbag, that's not a capital offense. Kissing a woman against her will is assault, not flirting. Look, your presence alone stopped whatever was happening. You didn't need to kill the guy. So he could do it again to another woman? My way, no one gets hurt. Except him. It won't be the last. Is that her? She must know that you're monitoring the call. She won't stay on. Maybe not with you. It's our turn. Well, I can try to get a talk to you, but uh, I don't think... This isn't a request. What is this? A warrant to reroute my cell phone number? Captain, the angel might refuse to deal with us. Washington, if you're unprepared to handle this investigation, Clyde will take over. Pushing me out, it's just gonna be more bodies. Oh, Shansky, if it weren't for your inspiration, there might not be any bodies in the first place. Yeah, Washington. It's on? I'll make the call. It's a beautiful day of what? Sun is shining, eggs is cooking. 
certain junkie got busted for armed robbery. This is not new information to us. Just wanted to make sure you was holding up your rent. Yesterday's stolen property beef is gonna slide. You know those Sonic Clear toothbrushes is really moving the street. You get a couple of those. So tell about the one thing. Why all this trouble to land LaFonso a hard time? I mean, he must have done some serious wrong. He messed with somebody he shouldn't have. Who? Goodbye, Tugs. So I've been thinking about the angel. You're not alone. How long has the media service been on my stoop? Since yesterday. The angel's reaction to this attack is so over the top that I'm thinking something else is to blame. Something besides me? You're too busy sulking and brooding. I can come back. Oh, play it on me. Seems like she's got underlying issues. That rape attempt stirred up. Understatement of the year. Well, maybe that's because this isn't the first time she was sexually assaulted. You think this has happened to her before? Tell me someone else has suggested this. Mm -hmm. Men. Oh, well, let's fight the gender wars later. You know, if she had been raped before, that might explain her extreme reaction. Yeah, especially if she never talked about it to anyone. And going through that kind of trauma alone, it's, it's got to drive you nuts. Lots of people repress this stuff, act like it never happened. Could be why she exploded. Nothing's more toxic than silence. Well, she's pretty talkative with me. You're her hero. Your opinion means everything to her. I'm glad you're over our tiff. I'm hoping these lines. Here he comes. Mr. Oshansky, are you protecting the Avenging Angel's identity? I don't protect murderers. Sounds like you're not sympathetic to her agenda. Well, you know, the woman's a lunatic. And she's lashing out at men for no good reason. What about the letters? I don't know. Why can't to try to rape her? Who knows what they're trying to do? Hello? Where's Mike? This is Detective Washington. Mike asked me to speak to him on his behalf. I feel like the ugly girl at prom. As you can see, Mr. Olshansky had nothing more to say. We'll keep you posted on this story. I'm Denise Saunders reporting live, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Prince Charming is here. I just got a name on the angel. OK, let me have it. Name's Lita Mills, ad exec at Ike and Birchfield. Somebody just recognized her from the sketch. She is considered armed and dangerous. Reporting live, I'm Denise Saunders. Yuki, back to you in the studio. Good advice, Denise. Thank you very much. If you get any more information, please get back to us. White House earlier today, the president met with Over here, lady. I knew what those men were doing. I said those things because I needed you here. You expect me to believe that? How many ex-cops leave the door unlocked? You betrayed me. No. I'm trying to help you. You don't care about me. That's not true. You think what I'm doing is wrong. Yes, I do. But I think I understand why you're doing it. No, you... You don't know anything about me. I know someone hurt you. Killing those men wasn't about revenge. It's preventative medicine. They can't rape anyone else. I'm not talking about them. I don't know what you're talking about. Who was it? Who raped you the first time? It didn't happen. 
You don't tell anyone. It's not true. Or even if no one knew, it happened. No matter how much you pretend, it's not gonna go away. You gotta talk about what happened to you. Tell someone. Lita, tell someone. Lita. I told my mother. She, she didn't believe me. My own mother. She looked me in the eye and said that didn't happen. How old were you? I was 12. He was my uncle. You never told anyone else. What's the point if your own mother doesn't believe you? We'd be sitting around the table, Thanksgiving, holidays, all acting as if nothing had happened. You know, sooner or later, I started to believe it myself. Till the other night. Your uncle. He used to be punished. He's dead. He died in his sleep last year, the bastard. Someone has to pay for what he did. Right? And that's why he went after Tyson and the others. <laughs> I still, still remember my life before my uncle raped me, and it doesn't feel like mine. Oh, what's remember, Dad? Do you feel any differently? You think killing me will make you hurt less? Go ahead. Go ahead. If you do. Check it out. It's supposed to be the best shelter in Philly. Guess my dad's gonna be here for a long time, huh? Probably. Man, I told him tells us in the dangerous stuff. Should have stayed on. Well, maybe your father would get clean while he's in. You don't believe that. Hell, you think he belongs in jail. Doesn't mean he can't change. I guess I should be going in, huh? I want to stop by every once in a while. Check you out. Yeah, whatever, man. With what she went through, Lita was going to go off eventually, with or without you. I just hope she finds some peace. Eventually. Helping her was the right thing to do. Yeah, there were consequences, but doing nothing has consequences, too. Must be why you went through all that trouble to help that kid, Cal. I still have a couple sources. <laughs> Made a few calls. Got the kid off the shelter waiting list. Maybe that's no big deal. Which of us, when we were partners, you saw a million kids like you. And you never get a second look. Maybe two brushes with death have changed. You're still trying to sell me that bill of goods? I call him like I see him. Well, this time you see him wrong. At least I got to do. I know you love it when I'm wrong. See, now you're talking some sense. And it's been so long since you were right. <laughs> no, you did.